close out her career as the NCAA tournament's all-time leading scorer. Kaylin, welcome to our set. This place is crazy. I know the day has been wild, but you have been on a bit of a tour. You've been on Saturday Night Live. Uh, we saw that you. Was at, yeah, you that was great. Yeah, that was great. I was so nervous. I've never been so nervous <laughs> for something in my life. You did not come <laughs> off nervous at all, but I can hardly focus because there's so much bling right now. Oh, yes. so tell, us, tell us about it. Tell us about this outfit. Tell us about this outfit. Yeah, so all Prada. Prada's never dressed anybody for the NBA or WNBA draft. Oh. Number I know. 46, so, right? Yeah. Oh, it's simple, ass. but you know, you got the sparkles there. Yeah, that's cool. I like oh. it. You show, you opened up to show the abs just a little bit, right? Yes. A little flex. <laughs> Eat a little more. <laughs> but Caitlin, the question I get about you all the time is how will your game transcend into the WNBA? Mm -hmm. How do you see that fit? I think the biggest thing is my passing, and I think that's kind of what people overlooked at times in college, is like people just love the scoring so much, and don't get me wrong, I love shooting the ball. <laughs> um, but I think that's the biggest thing, and obviously being surrounded by so much talent, um, you know, no matter where I end up, is like the league is loaded with so many people, and um, I think that's something that I've always had a knack for um, from a very young age. I grew up playing soccer and understanding angles and seeing the game before, you know, it even happens. and. Um, I think once I really get playing with my teammates, they kind of can read me too and read my eyes. So, um, you know, I love playing with good post players. Um, I love playing with good guards, good wings. So um, that's what this league's all about. Oh, yeah, the Fever has a very, very good uh, post <laughs> player by the name of Alita Boston. Now, one thing I love about your game, I think it's your IQ, it's your passing, it's your scoring. Those things mm -hmm. translate really to the WNBA. But overall, you know, 10 years ago, I'm old, girl. I heard my name get called, old. and I blanked out for a little bit. Thank you so much. <laughs> what is going to be going through your mind when you, you hear your name? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is like, in second grade, like I wrote on a piece of paper, like get drafted into WNBA, earn a basketball scholarship, everything like that. And I think I've been able to check so many boxes and then this is another one. And I feel like I'm ready for this chapter of my life. I feel like I'm confident. I feel like, you know, maturity wise, basketball wise, my just my personality, everything. I think I'm ready to, you know, be an adult. Um, but I think <laughs> the biggest thing is like, my support system's here, my family's here, my coaches are here, my teammates are here. Um, just soak it in and enjoy it. You only get to do this one time. It's not like we can do this over again. So um, I think just soak it in. It's going to go fast. This weekend has gone fast. Um, and just be grateful for that. Well, Kaylin, I can't let you go without asking you a very important question. I know you're a big Taylor Swift fan. I am. And I just want to know, after you've heard your name called at the <laughs> end of the night, what song will be the theme oh, for this evening? Come on. Got to give us a good uh, one. She might be well, watching. Enchanted is like my favorite song of all time, but that's kind of sad. It is. But like, <laughs> I'm still playing it anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> We're going to so make it fun. That's all that matters. Absolutely. <laughs> I love that. Well, congratulations on an amazing college career, and welcome to the WNBA, Caitlin. Congratulations. Fans, stay right where you 